Welcome back to No Man's Sky, everybody. This is Lon Paul, and we're going to be continuing our Permadeath Iron Man challenge at the extreme difficulties with the HUD on. I don't like to do it with the HUD off too, too often, but today we're doing it with the HUD on. As you are aware, we're just trying to grind up some of this uh, rusted metal to get some more of this uh, ferrite dust, because that is a resource we definitely want to want to keep. Uh, let's see, we got some hazard protection in here. I got a bunch of these albumin pearls. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep them or not. They're not really worth a whole lot. Same thing with the copper. I think Actually, I'm going to get rid of it now. There we go. Okay, that's good. These are worth a little bit as well. They're worth as much as this stuff is, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the navigation data because we're never going to use it. Got plenty of carbon. We need a lot more oxygen. Actually, if we have some dihydrogen, we can make one... I don't think we can make any more. But we can make a life support gel in case we need it. And that comes out of the carbon. So, yeah. Keep an eye on that. This should be just about ready. Not quite. We're getting there. 62 to go. 28 over here, but it's a 1 to 2 ratio, so we're getting quite a bit. See? I'll put the oxygen over there, put the rest of the ferrite over here. The ferrite will come in very, very handy later on. Actually, we can do some right now. And we can use up all of our cobalt while we're at it. There we go. I'll go ahead and get rid of it now, because we don't need it anymore. With 28 batteries, I think we'll be going for a little while. Almost done. And then we're going to continue on. So we're only just a couple minutes into this. I wanted to get this done before we headed out. There we go. Okay. Let's pick you up. And there you are in our inventory. Okay, great. All right. Got a few spots available. So we're heading in this direction. So we need to find where we're going next. Let's step a little closer this way. Okay, good. Uh, let's see. Looks like... Oh, we do have to check out the damage machinery just outside. Uh, let's see. I don't see any other places nearby, so that's okay. And hey, give us a shield or something. A nice arctic shield would be fantastic. More, more nanites. Okay, more things we can't use. Mining beam. Okay, oxygen. Oxygen. Ah, oxygen, what do you know? Excellent. Okay. Alright, so there's nothing up there right now. So let's head that way. We'll get up to the to the high point. This will at least enable us to see the, the ships as they pass overhead. Jetpack. Jetpack upgrade would also be very nice. Oh, what do you know? Sentinels are starting to show up again. Yay. Great. We're never going to get to the top of this thing to figure out where these guys are going. Uh, it's just one little boost. Come on, man. Yeah. Not helpful at all. All right. Well, let's take a look around real quick while we're walking along here. There's another shelter right over there. 500 blocks away. We just make sure there's none over this direction. There's not, so we'll be heading there. As you know, we need a little bit of dihydrogen because we're trying to make some life support gels. And the sentinels are not noticing me doing this just at this moment, so...
Ah, that's good. Very, very handy. Hopefully no more. Ah, good. Good, 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 good. Ah, can't get that one. Get those. Excellent. All right. 43 condensed carbon. That's really, really handy. Nice. That was a good run. Nope. Oh. Ah. Saw you at the last moment, my friend. I hate those whips, but I could use the oxygen, so... There's another one. They're very plentiful here, apparently. Looks like they come in groups of two as well, at times. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Well, the good news is, is we got a cave nearby, too. So let's head for the cave and see if we can't just camp out for a few seconds, if this is a real cave. It is not a real cave. Okay. So we'll have to use one of our one of our things. The good news is we can shut down Sentinel Forces for a couple of hours. And we got a lot of Sentinels floating around, so we get some stuff out of this. Uh, let's shut down the Sentinel Forces. Excellent. Check out what the multi-tool looks like. It has a charge slot, and it takes ionized cobalt to fix it. Plus, we'll get a beam amplifier. We can get an A-class one from a trading outpost. So, why don't we go ahead and compare and take it? I'm not going to exchange it, of course. Log off. Okay. Excellent, excellent, excellent. The Sentinels are now disabled. Let's look around for... It'll show up on here as... Uh... That's the shelter we just came from. Yep, there it is. That there. Combat supplies. That's something we can sell. And there should be at least one more floating around here. There it is. Life support's getting a little low. Okay. We'll get salvaged glass out of it. I don't know if that will give us anything. Okay, you know what? We are going to do this. We can get three of those, which means three life support gels. Excellent. Ah, that's handy. What is that going to give us? Shield strength and solar power, so we can help keep us a little bit better charged. Excellent. This will recharge that. We don't need the projectile ammunition right now. This is worth some money. How much is it worth again? 28000 Okay, it's worth a little bit. We'll see if that's going to be useful to me or not. Okay, so we're heading in this general direction. So that was pretty good. That, was not, that wasn't bad. Let's take a look at this multi-tool, too. Um, you know what? Before we do, why don't we go find ourselves shelter? Um... Is there another building nearby? Let's start with that. Probably not, but we'll find a cave. There, there's a cave down below us. We're using our new multi tool to do this. Uh, where is he? Where is he? 60 U. Which means he is. Much further down. Hey, look at that. Another cache. Let's take it. Okay. Okay. Where did it go? Where did it go? Still down below me. Alright. Let's change our multi-tool real quick. Did we? Ah, there we go. And we are in. Okay. Nice, we can get some carbon here while we're at it. Okay, let's check out this multi-tool real fast that we have. So we want to pull this off of here. Uh, do we have any place to put it? Let's get rid of that. Technology there we go. 
Okay, let's go. We got two spots for stuff, but that's okay. We only need this and our analysis visor. That should be all we need, I think. Okay, let's check it out. Okay, first things first, we can fix that spot, which is going to be very handy to us. We don't have any wiring looms. We don't have any more ionized cobalt, but that's okay. We can get some pretty quick. That one we're never going to be able to repair. Possibly someday I can repair that, but that's okay. It's these two over here I need to get repaired. This one especially. So since we're in a cave, we should be able to come across some cobalt in here. At least I would think so. Let's take a look. There it is. Of course it is. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to move you down here. I'm going to move you down here. We're going to go over here. We're going to pick up the analysis visor, which we've already got. So we don't need it. We do need the terrain manipulator. Let's switch back and forth. So see, this is this is something you can do if you wish. It's up to you. But I, I'm, I'm learning that I have a pretty decent tool that I can use here. There we go. There. Okay, let's see if we can get... I don't want the manipulator. Hold on a second. There we go. Alright, now we're getting somewhere. We'll go ahead and analyze it. There's a secondary element. You never know. Tritium. Hmm. Very useful to my ship that I do not have. So, so we need some ionized cobalt. We need about 50 of it, which means we need about 100 cobalt. Yep, not worried about that just now. Alright, so what do we got? Tritium is not worth anything to me. Got 88. Need a little bit more. There we go. Alright, so let's lay down our portable refiner. We're going to make some ionized cobalt. We got five... We need 90. Pardon me. We need. Technology we need 50. So we need 45. Wow. Talk about slow going. Okay. All right. Let's take a look at our inventory and what we've got. We don't need that. That was taking up room that we didn't realize we were taking up. Okay. And I'm going to get rid of some of these pearls because I need to make some inventory space. Okay. And this will repair enough of my multi-tool that it will be very useful to me. So. All right. There we go. Let's fix the multi-tool first. So we need that fixed, which we can't fix that just yet. We can fix this one over here. And was it this one? Yes, it was. Okay, excellent. So there we go. Now what we can do, we won't be able to get a wiring loom until we get enough units, of course. But once we have one, we can fix that. Like I said, this one is up in the air. These two are just never going to happen. They'll always remain that way. So. Okay. So we should be ready to go. Plus, being supercharged like it is, it should give me more efficiency and I can mine more stuff. I could try going like that and see how it does. Mining speed, it heats... You know what? fuel efficiency. It's actually worth it. I think I'm going to leave it like that for now. We'll see how it goes. Okay. need you. Just make sure my inventory looks okay. Put you down here. We're going to be selling you later. Okay. 
shall we? Which way are we going? That way. So what do we have in that direction? Plants, of course. Alright, how about we blast a hole in this place? We'll take the cave for a little bit so we can stay, stay as protected as we can. Wow. Heck of a cave. Nice. Oh, stop. Look at this. A whole bunch of albumin pearls. And an exit. What do you know? Okay. Well, isn't that convenient? Okay, anything in the uh, distance from here? That was really, really convenient. I like that. Doesn't look like we have anything around us. So, let's continue on. What did I get hit by? Must have been one of those uh, whip tendrils there. Those are always my favorites. Okay. Take another look. And that's one of the keys, too, is you just really got to keep looking around. Getting up to a high point is not a bad idea because that allows you to see if the ships are circling somewhere when you get to that point. There we go. All right. So we will get up to high points at a, on occasion. Mostly we're heading south. Mostly. Yep, there's some ships flying right now, except they're heading in that direction this time. Okay, and they're heading in this direction, too. Okay. Good. And they're not circling anywhere, but they're still heading in that direction. So we're going in a good direction, as far as I can, I can see. Oh, I just hate this part. We're just going to keep doing this. It's just ticking me off. It's probably upsetting you as well. Arr, get up there. Get up there. Okay, great. Okay, take a peek. I'm not going to scan the animals. I'm not really interested in getting the nanites from them right now. It's not necessary. And will never actually be necessary, so... It is time to recharge things. Okay... It's also a good idea to check my suit, make sure nothing got damaged, no. I don't know what pulpy roots will do for me, we're going to check that. I think it will give us life support. Nope, hazard. Yeah, hazard protection. So life support is still a tougher thing to get. Oof. Support's just dropping like a rock. There we go. Okay, now this is the direction we're actually headed, so let's see if we can see them long enough to see where they're going. If they head left or right, or straight up. And I don't see them. I don't see them heading to the left. So they may be heading to the right. I don't see them heading straight up either. So we're probably heading a little bit to the right. So we're going in a good direction. Okay. I think, anyway. Let's see what we get. Nanites! Right? Yes. Okay. Get our... Get our plant. Okay. Good. Uh, that way. I'm gonna go up to that peak. So we're 20 minutes into this, just about. I know there's been a lot of delays, but I think we're in better shape. I think we have a pretty decent, um, we've got a pretty decent bead on things. We have a decent multi-tool. I mean, it's not much, much better than what I had before. But it has a supercharged slot, which ought to help in the gaining of materials. 
So that gave me 10 that time. I'm just curious. Let's go ahead and move it around. Here, let's just put you over here. And let's see what happens when I get to one of those uh, suckers again. Because it should be about the same every single time you pull from it. Oh, we got some heptolite wheat here. Let's go ahead and grab that. That, I think, does lend towards your... Okay, we have to do it the old-fashioned way. We'll do it this way. There we go. This is hazard protection as well. Okay, well, I was hoping it would be also. Dihydrogen jellies. Can't make a dihydrogen jelly, but we can make more batteries. There we go. Okay, moving on. Getting up to the top of the mountain. It's a pretty steep slope we're climbing here. Now, the thing that I'm liking... Okay, here we go. Here's the test. What do we get out of it? We get nine. Okay, well, that was interesting. So, we'll stick with doing it the other way around. And leaving you there. Okay. Okay. Looks like we have some condensed carbon right here. Now we shut down the sentinels so we can gather whatever we want without any repercussions from them wanting to stop us from gathering resources. So, and they are usually gone until you reload. That's one possibility, as well as... I'm going to get rid of it this time. Alright, up to the top. We want to be facing this way. They are... I don't know where they went. They went that way. So they're heading the, the back the, the way we came, basically. It doesn't really help us much. But they're constant out here. I don't know what that's all about. We're going to get rid of that. We probably should have kept it, right? Yeah, I know. I'm kicking myself now, too. Don't worry about it. We'll get more. All right. Let's see what we got down here. Take a quick peek. We are so far up and high that I don't think our visor is going to reach down that far. So, we'll just have to look a little closer to ourselves. We've got some frost wart. And it looks like a monolith. Okay, well, I we don't really care about monoliths. Alright, down we go. Gotcha. <laughs> oh, that was interesting. What? Come on. There we go. Let's get some of this stuff because it's here. And we can always use extra carbon. And the condensed carbon is even more valuable to me and it was hidden, so. Excellent. Okay. Okay, while we're here, let's take another look now that we're closer to the ground. Uh, let's see, we got some damaged machinery over there. We could head that way, but I don't really want to go out of my way any more than I already have. So, we're going to go straight down here. And carry on. Let's see if I was right. Eleven. Yep, see? Okay, so that was better putting the upgrade into the supercharge slot this time. Okay, tubers. Now, if I'm not mistaken, the tubers will give you health. There you go. That's life support. Good. There we go. Excellent. Okay, we're going to keep that microprocessor, aren't we? Learning my lesson. I need three of those. And a dihydrogen gel. That's nice. And ammunition that we don't use. Okay, so we'll, like I said, we're going to hang on to that. We'll make another one of those. Excellent. Let's carry on. Take another quick look. We're heading in this general direction, so we don't want to deviate too, too far. Unless we see something obvious. Okay. Let's just head that way. We already got enough sodium, I think. Got plenty of batteries. 
get some more of this wheat because I think it'll be handy. And you, just because we don't like you. 13 oxygen that time. Okay, so yeah, that was a good move. How much sodium do we have? Oh, gosh, here we got tons. All right, we're good. Let's get up to the top of this little rise here. We'll take another look around. We are quickly coming to the end of this second episode of this run. Can't get up to the top of this. Come on, get up there. Wow, the ships are just constant. Good grief. And they're heading now in the exact direction that I'm going in. So we'll see if we can find out which way they're going. We're going to lose sight of them, but if they head straight up, we're in good shape. Ah, they're going left. All right, so we want to go more to the left. So see, I'm going to follow my instinct that I didn't follow on my other run. Follow their direction. They are directing me to where I need to go. There we go. Keep an eye on that. I know HUD challenge. I can't even keep an eye on that anymore. Okay. Let's take a look from over here. It's sad that I'm not coming across anything at all. Uh... I don't know if my visor needs to be upgraded. Maybe I can move my visor into that spot. Let's try that real quick. So we've got enough resources, so we're doing good there. Oh, okay. Alright, let's see something here. Let's try something. Can we see more stuff? I don't know. I don't think so. Let's try it one more time with you. No? Alright, let's see what happens. Let's continue on. I think I've wasted enough time just standing there. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Did I break anything? That usually requires breakage at that point. Ooh, it'd be nice to get a shield or two, wouldn't it? One arctic shield ought to just help us out incredibly. Hey, we're at daytime. Okay, let's see what we got from over here. Some nice deposits of stuff I can't use. That's great. I'm going to head for the buried technology, though it's not really in the direction I should be going. I should be going this way. All right, so let's head to the plant. Got some more frozen tubers over there that'll help us out. So we'll go that way. Oh, bounced off the top of a tree. That was weird. All right. And again, like I said, we're getting kind of close to the end of this episode, but I don't really want to end it in the middle of a terrain like this. So let's go just a little bit longer and, you know, break my ankles again. Oh, that was good. Anything? Uh, okay, yeah, we're okay. Nothing. I think there's something up there. Not sure where they ended up. Oh, okay, that's probably yeah, it's a salt deposit. All right. Three stars. What am I coming across? That's three star ranking. Curious deposit. How handy. Looks like there's only one though. Fascinating. All right. We are at the slope of our mountain. Let's let's get to the top of this. Okay. Go up this little slope right here. Okay. 
Thermal protection is still falling, in case you were unaware of that. Let it recharge. See if I can at least hold still. Yeah, at least I can walk up from this point. Okay. There we go. Alright. So which slope do we want to go up to? I'd love to get all the way up there. Let's get up here for now. Not seeing anything just yet. Yeah. Some ships, but they're going to be heading to the right, so I'm not really too concerned about it. Ugh, I can't even see them if I wanted to. See what I mean? Ugh, and then there's these two. Right in my path. Okay. So we're in a higher plateau than I thought we would be. Longer plateau? I didn't know it was going to be a plateau. Let's put it that way. All right, here we go. Let's take a lay of the land, shall we? Looks cold. Um, kind of deep. Looks like we have a shelter down there. I think that's where we should end our episode, no matter what that place is. Let's go ahead and end the episode there. Hey, what do you know? Yeah, 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 I know. I'm getting the open. The other one that's open. Do me. Okay. Don't know why it's ending up there. Okay. And what's this one? Life support. Excellent. Oh, looks like we have another facility right there, too. It's a manufacturing facility. We could break in if we wanted to, but probably not going to happen. Okay, and that's just a monolith that we're looking at there. Okay, where do our ships go? There they go. 8,000 units. Oh, five sentinels. Well, okay then. What the hell I destroyed? Oh, because there's no sentinels over there. I think we have ourselves an idea. I have an idea. A little Kirk on you there. Because if there's nobody there... That might be a brilliant idea. Oh, there's a whole bunch of carbon over there. Look at that. Condensed carbon galore. And no sentinels to stop me. Beautiful. Okay. Let's take a look. Oh, we got a ton of condensed carbon now. Plenty of oxygen. Excellent. All right. We're in good shape here. Let's get that back up to there. All right, yeah, we're definitely going to want to check out that place. Okay, yeah, you're coming with me. Sorry, we're not saving that for another episode. Plus, I'm recording these at a higher frame rate and higher quality, so they're much bigger uh, that's what I'm looking for, uh, files to upload onto YouTube. So hopefully it's uh, taking care of a lot of those silly little graphic issues you all have been running into while you've been watching my uh, channel. But it also means I can't keep as many of my episodes in my uh, hard drive, so. All right. All right, all right, all right. Now there should be... Uh, that's not what I was trying to do. Sorry about that. I almost made myself sick. thought there had been sentinel capsules floating around over here. I don't see them.
Because it did say five sentinels killed, so the capsules for them should be here, I would think. Now, our mining laser won't work. We'd have to break down the door. What we could do, let me do this real quick. Okay. Let's see. Do we have enough to build this? We need carbon nanotubes. We need chromatic metal, which we could have used that uh, copper. Huh? Let's come back to it, shall we? So I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to make three carbon nanotubes right now. Oof, just enough carbon to do it. And it might be worth getting in there and seeing what it has. I mean, maybe not. Let's, let's be very clear. It may not be worth my time. So, we'll see how it goes. Life support. Health is at maximum. Okay, let's see if we have some copper floating around. Copper deposit at 400. Let's see. Salt. Salt. Copper, way too far away. 295. That looks like a lot closer. Dioxide? Did that say dioxide? Interesting. Dioxide is used in place of oxygen for life support and is much cheaper and much easier to use. Now we need 100 of the chromatic metal, so we need 200 copper. Watch it, watch it. We only need 200. This is turning into a very interesting episode. And of course we need ferrite for ammunition. should we get? Exactly 200. There we go. And let's head back to the building that we were at. Just up the slope. Okay, that was really weird. I wasn't going anywhere real quick there. Okay. Should be up there. And flying sideways. Okay. Alright, let's drop my refiner down and let's go ahead and get to work on this. Uh, we don't have much of that left, but that's okay. We only need that. We are looking for the copper. That'll take a minute. Do we have any cave? Looks like it's trying to be one over here. No, not really. Okay. Not much going on. We ought to just save our life support at the very least. Let's check our inventory out while we're here. We do have some ammunition. We'll go ahead and make some more. Okay, good. And we have 50 copper there still. I don't know where we got that from. Oh, because we can't put more than 150 copper in. There we go. 
All right. Yeah, I forgot about that with the refinery. It's it's just it limits everything in your inventory and everything that you can use. And we'll go ahead and save the game over there when we're done. So yeah, sorry, this is running a little bit longer than the than the half hour I speculated, but it is what it is. There we go. Let's go to our multi-tool. We are now repaired. And anything else we need right now, we do not. A lot easier than pounding on it with my uh, shoulder. There we go. Thermal re protection recovering. Alright. More projectile ammunition. Excellent. We can get some carbon out of here while we're at it, I think. These plants will let us know they want. Anites. Nope. Won't let us get any carbon out of them. Okay, so let's see what we can do here. I am good about 50% of the time at these. I'm taking a specialized piece of research, and I can't read anything, so I'm not going to worry about that. It appears to be asking for manual confirmation of its ex of ex experiment. Should we continue or end it? All right, let me think here. I'm going to continue. Yep, that was it. Wrong answer. See, like I said, I'm only good about 50% of the time here. Alright, so we are fully recharged as far as our hazard is concerned. Let's at least go ahead and... Save our game. What do you know? We got rank, finally. Yeah, go figure. And we are headed away from the ship. Alright, so where are we going? Looks like we're going to be going in that direction. So let's... Go ahead and get a screenshot. Oh, what do you know? There's a ship coming. There we go. Except we don't want the ships in it. It's just going to be my lone crusader sitting here at a facility. All right, folks, and that's going to be our thumbnail for the entire episode. I want to thank you all for watching. Uh, we're going to end the episode here, about 45 minutes. Thank you all very much uh, for leaving comments, for hitting that like button, please, that little thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Thank you very much. We'll see you in the next episode, probably going to be on the next weekend. Take care, everybody.